Hey guys, what's up? So what I have for you today is a little bit of a full arrow rebuild. I'm shooting the Gold Hip Velocity Pro 300 at 28 and 11 16 inches. So this project kind of stemmed from me attempting to make a sight tape during the end of turkey season and realizing that all my arrows varied from 408 on up to 422. So I decided I would just strip them all down and kind of do a rebuild, adding weight and taking away weight, uh, trying to get them all to have the same, pretty close to the same weight and same FOC. Now this actually could have been prevented by when I purchased a batch of arrows, if I would keep the little sheet that Gold Tip sends with the number, um, and then every time I reorder arrows, if I would have called Gold Tip and ordered arrows through Gold Tip rather than just ordering them from wherever I wanted to, I would be able to give them that number and they would match the weights within plus or minus half a grain weight tolerance. So kind of something that I brought on myself, but now I kind of realized it and am on the path to correct it. and. Along with this arrow building, I will also be getting my bow ready for 3D, so you guys will probably see some of that content. Throughout this whole process, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. I pretty much get all of my stuff from YouTube videos, similar to you guys, and kind of follow along with some good shooters, good archery coaches, just try to pick through the stuff that they post and see what works best for me. But like I said, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I can get you pointed in the direction of a good video or even kind of give you some reasoning as to why I do some things that I do. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I took the bushings out of the back, I took the inserts out of the front, and now since I took the wrap off, and the veins, I need to get all the sticky stuff from the wrap. So what I'm doing here is I've got Goo Gone, rubbing alcohol, paper towels, and a rag that I'm gonna put water on to clean these shafts off. All right, so I just got done cleaning all of my shafts, getting all the sticky residue from the wraps off of them. And then once I was done with that, I wiped them down good with some rubbing alcohol. And then I numbered each shaft so I could use it as reference for the little program that I'm using. And then after I numbered them, I took it to this, wrote down all of the weights that I got from my scale. So I just entered all the bushing weights into my program here and now I'm going through my shafts and selecting which bushing goes with which shaft so I'm putting the heaviest bushing with the lightest shaft. So now I'm gonna lay my inserts out. I'm going to weigh them. Then I'm gonna pair them with the arrow that they go to. Once again, I'm gonna go heaviest arrow gets the lightest insert. Lightest arrow gets the heaviest insert. So I just finished sorting my bushings and my inserts for each arrow. Now I laid all my veins out and I'm going to go ahead and weigh all of those. I've got them laid out on a piece of paper and numbered. So I'll weigh them and then put them into the program and sort them from lightest to heaviest and just kind of do the same thing I was doing before. So I'll pair four arrows with each chef. Got them all sorted and laid out. 
it's time to start wrapping them and fletching them. All right, so I just finished fletching my first arrow of the night. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm running with is a two and a half inch blazer heat and a modified boning blazer arrow wrap. I cut that down to about uh, two and three quarters inches so it fit their um, veins a little bit better and I'm running my veins about an inch and a quarter from the back of the shaft to make sure I don't get any face contact. The forefletch turned out pretty good. This is the first one I've ever done. Only 15 more. Alright, so I got all my arrows finished. Now I'm going to get into restringing my bow. I'm going to start by tearing off all of the hunting stuff that I have on there and get it ready with all my target stuff. But first, I'm going to take some measurements to the D-loop location so I can easily pick that back up once I get my new strings on. And what I'm shooting here for a bow is a 2014 Prime Rival in Sitka Optifade 2 at 30 inches and 70 pounds.
Got my cams pretty well synced up. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the draw board to double check it and also to check my poundage. You get to twisting those cables and stuff and you can end up with a little bit more poundage than you should be having on there. I'm looking for a 70-71 area. All right, came in about 68 pounds. I'm gonna go ahead and add a few twists to each of my cables to get that poundage up to where I want it. Alright, I got my peep sight set, uh, had to shorten my D-loop a little bit, it just wasn't coming up to my face quite right, just kind of have to lean into it. Now I'm going to tie in my D-loop and we should be good to go. Mm -hmm. 